Hi guys. Welcome back. And we're still celebrating our anniversary here at Ebony Life TV. The big three. The big three. Yes. And we've got um, some cake. Yes. Cake, 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 cake. cake, cake, cake. <laughs> we cake, have problem. Cake. So we have this beautiful cake um, that was given to us so that we could Surprisingly. celebrate. Surprisingly. I know yeah. we didn't ex we never expected it, <laughs> but here it is. And it's a beautiful cake. And, with an um, iPhone. Yeah. An edible with, iPhone. An edible <laughs> with like a, it's so really, it's really nicely decorated. It's got like the spot logo and our pictures on it. And yeah, it's just a nice way to mark um, us turning three. Yes, yeah. it is. And the person who sent it? <coughs> sent us a shout out. Sent us a message. Let's, Let's check, it, check out. it out. Oh. I'm here to wish Ebony Life TV and the Spots a happy third anniversary. Thank you. Miss <laughs> Comfort. Oh. That's really Thank lovely. you, Comfort. Thank you. That's May the so rest so of your life be comfortable. Amen. More and than sweet. comfortable and sweet. Sweet. Yes. And blessed with yes. unexpected uh -huh. gifts. And yes. as beautiful, even more beautiful than the cakes you make. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 All right. All right. Okay, <laughs> guys. Um, we're going I to cut into the cake at some point. Yes, yes, we are. As we go on <laughs> the show. But um, I mean, we're celebrating three and we've got that. <laughs> also, since we're saying thank you, mm -hmm. it's also appropriate that we thank the reason why Bonnie Life TV is. Indeed. That's and, right. Um, M.A. Boss lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's a... Uh, whose dream it was and has continued to stir the ship and congratulations to you too. Your baby is three years old. I yeah. know. Started, at three, you've started talking, right? Yes. Yeah. So oh, yeah. We're and becoming we're, noisier, I guess. We're, we're, and yes. that's exactly what and we're that's, doing. We're disturbing yeah. the peace. Yes. We've gone past the terrible twos. In fact, eh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're so now uh, establishing our Congratulations ourselves. on your baby's birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to do great things. Yeah. Yes. And so, thank you very much for uh, the opportunities and thank you for just, you know, have us having a place where we yes. can carve out a little piece of home as well yeah. and uh and do great things and do great things yeah here's to bigger and better things in the future yes yeah and looking spicier uh -uh. in the next couple of years no right that's what she does like just look Spiciness. good spicy all right <laughs> all right so this it's time for us to bring in our guest of the day he is a music surgeon extraordinaire mm -hmm. chief doctor our producer, singer, songwriter, everything Woo. extraordinaire, Come all around bad the guy, oh. all dressed in black. I know. Hello. Who are you trying to intimidate? No, I'm you. <laughs> and you didn't bring any gifts, Cobams. I don't like. I this. come bearing gifts. I need it. And those gifts, gifts are welcome. Me, and myself, <laughs> and, and, and my, my voice. No. <laughs> welcome, man. Welcome to the show. Come. It's nice. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Three years later. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and you still didn't come with anything. Yeah, how you been? How, how you I doing? I brought myself and I told you and, and I brought my voice. I mean, you were always going to bring yourself anyways. Exactly. So that is not how you no, come without coming. I cannot bring. I heard that song. We're your body is here with me, but your mind is on the other side of town. <laughs> so is your mind here? No, my mind is here now. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. you brought all of you. I brought all oh, of me. No. <laughs> I walked right into this that all day. You walked yeah, right into that one. I really yeah. did. Okay. How are you doing, man? How's it going? I'm all right. I'm market. I'm happy. Market is selling. We thank God. Mm -hmm. it's, it's moving. We're happy. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Um, you've, of course, been in the industry for a long time. Longer than three years. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Long, yeah. Longer than three years. Yeah. yeah. Much how's, how's, how's the journey been for you? I mean, I know it's, it would be a long story if you tell the entire journey, but yes. are you happy with where you are now? I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, am I where I want to be? It's certainly not, but... Um, I'm happy. I've we've we've come far. We've come yeah. far. Did you ever relocate at any point? Because we heard that you yeah. left Nigeria. Yeah, story. Or you was it a stunt you pulled on us? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what did I do? Um, I went out to I went out to the states to. Of course, we went out to. Um, what did we go to do? I went to record my album. Okay. okay. And then uh, my wife went to school, and then we had a baby. And you know, a couple of good things, you know, just happened to us and um, they happened while we were there. So we decided to settle for a bit. Okay. And then I got the opportunity to work with, you know, a number of talented, talented artists while I was out there. Mm. So, I mean, I think that sort of kept me. Mm. But I was in and out. I was never, I was never really out. Oh, way like, away. I really yeah. yeah, I came, I, I tried to come back at least once every month. Okay. okay. Yeah, but now I'm here. And um, yes, I'm doing things. Mm. Doing, 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 doing things. Can you tell so us some of the people? Sorry. Okay. Can you tell some of the people that you worked with while you were there, or is it all 
Cool. Top yes. secret. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's not all top secret. So, I, I, first of all, I worked with quite a number of Nigerian. Your Nigerian artists, eh? mm -hmm. very, very. When they want what they want, they will so find you wherever you are. They find you wherever you are. Yeah. You know, just pray that you don't become what they don't want. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I, I worked with my good friends. You know, Timmy Dakolo, Maomi. How did you know? Ah, uh, no, you know, she knows we're things. big. I'm a big. Well, we are all big on Maomi fans, yeah. anyway. So yes. I remember she was her telling us one time when she came that she was either going to work with you or she had just. She come was, back and from I'll, I'll tell you this you. interesting story about Maomi and I working in Houston. So we had gone to New York for uh, we had, we had um, gone to do a couple of things for one, and then. Um, we're flying back into Houston. Yeah, on, we're on separate flights, my wife and I, and then Omaomi. And so Omaomi flies into Houston before us. So we called the front office to let her into the house because obviously we're all hanging together and mm -hmm. all that. So she went to the house. Ojola and I landed, you know, drove, picked our car from the airport, drove home. And as soon as we stepped in, you know, Omaomi, first we noticed the house had one. Banga soup smear. It wasn't even banga soup. And she was like, on our combo. Oh. So what do you guys want to eat? Uh -uh. There's gizdo, there's okra. Oh, I'm like, wow. Wait wow. a minute. First of all, you've you, never been to my house. So how do you know where? How do you know where to find what? Yeah. Apparently, she got my friend to take her to the market. Oh. She went out, shopped, came back, and cooked a storm wow. for us, which was amazing. But Amami is like that. Yeah. Amami is like that, yeah. So I mean, I've worked with a couple of people. Amami, YJM, Timmy Dakolo. Uh, I did some work for Carmen. I did some Ooh, work for Sony. Do you have his number? That's Don't you what even. What's wrong with this girl? This is not what this is even about. <laughs> do you have his number? <laughs> <laughs> no! Whatever we work with. That's thirstiness. <laughs> and a couple of other. I did some oh, work with Angelique Joe. Oh, she's awesome. And a couple of other great people. Yeah. A lot of this, some of, no, well, not a lot. Some of the stuff fell through, which was quite disheartening. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you know, we got talking with Will I Am. We're going to do some mm. stuff. Nice. It didn't quite happen. Oh. Um, a conversation was budding underground with Ed Sheeran. And hey! Okay. That was Look, kind Cobham. of exciting. Can, I, can no. you guys? The answer to whatever she's going to ask about is no, Cobham. No. For her own and your Would you like to adopt like <laughs> me? Like what? Yeah, like too old. Do you know them? <laughs> <laughs> okay, adopt a just, sister. Just yeah. take me with you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but do you want to work fun. on the album? I can work. Just what are you talking about? I can write things. You can write <laughs> you things. Can write you can things. do background. Yes. You can do, you can do background. Hum. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was nice. Yes, I'll get you to sing today. You see. Of course. Girl, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So you mentioned that you're not where you want to be. Where Where do you see the Cobham's brand? Um. Well, I, I, that I, that for me, I used to start by saying, you know, I, I want to be a household name and this and that and that. But I realized that the goal is much, 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 much bigger. Yeah. Um, I want to be synonymous with, you know, certain values, with um, with a certain message, with a very strong message, you know, which is a message of hope, which is a message yeah. of possibilities. And um, while I think that, you know, we're working on that or working at that um, I don't think you know it's had the kind of reach that I'm, I'm looking for just yet um, also um, I, I, there's a certain level of excellence and standard with you know the kind of music that I want to continue to create and I want it to you know infect um, the industry I, I feel like the industry is growing in leaps and bounds and I'm very very excited about that but um, while that's happening, you know, there's certain levels of structure and standard and all of that stuff that, you know, I would just like, you know, to see. And I want to be, you know, on the forefront along with, you know, everyone else that's sort of pioneering and just championing that cause. And that's a lot of work. It's yeah. a lot of work. It's not, it's not something I imagine will happen, you know, overnight. Yeah. So that I'm not where I want to be is not something I say with, you know, regret or anything. I just know that it's a process. Yeah. And, you know, well, and it's going to happen. It will happen it will. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to take a break on that inspiring <laughs> note right now. We'll be right back with more. Kobams is going to be crossing over here at some point. So you yeah. want to stick around for that. Yay, we're looking for Hi guys, welcome back to The Spot and we're celebrating Ebony Live TV at 3 today. LTV 3 And it's about to be a, a, lit, a lituation oh or gosh. lit situation. Lituation. <laughs> lituation on The Spot right here. We've yeah. got Cobams in the house and we're just gisting, yeah. you know, chilling and you know, the good life. Yeah. I have a question. What's the life cycle for a great song? Like how long do you think it takes? 
does it take however long it needs to or um well, you know just for like you in terms lasts, of creating you mean to write it or how long to, it lasts? to write and produce it it, it it's, it's relative it really depends you can create a great you can create one of the greatest songs in like 30 minutes mm -hmm. and it just happens and mm -hmm. it's just there i think you know it's it's a question of how inspired you are you know what I mean? You get up and you find inspiration and you create this song and it's just a banger and it's, you know, out there. And it's probably going to be there for, what, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah. You know, uh, the, on the other hand, you can take as much time as you want, do whatever you can do to find inspiration. And I promise you, writers do a lot of things to find inspiration. And, you know, it's just a song that lasts, what, maybe a couple of months. Or, especially when, you know, the, the, the inspiration or the, the, the song is written based on format. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it just it just comes and it goes and you know it's it's dated you know mm -hmm. before you know it. So it's relative. You can't um, you can't say it can't takes this length of it. time mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. It's not like um, it's not like brewing in that typical sense. Do you, yeah. Have you worked with other producers in Nigeria? Do you do that? Yes, I have. I've 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 worked with a few producers in Nigeria. Um, this is a guy called IBK Spaceship Boy. Yeah. Okay. He is Oh, he's talented. awesome. Yes, he's, he's awesome. Worked, he does a lot of work with Bez, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. He works with, you know, he's, he's got, um, his sound is very organic, you know, and I, yeah. I really like his. Um, Don Jazzy and I were trying to do something for Bez and Wendico one time, but oh. that fell through. Bez and but he had, sent, yeah, he had sent me this amazing idea, and um, somehow we just, everybody got busy. I don't know what we're trying to do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've, I've done some work with Mastercraft. Okay. okay. Uh, Mastercraft is my guy. He's, his blood, mm. yeah, his blood. I'm blood with a lot of Nigerian producers. Yeah. yeah, they're like you know my people. Like I love them. I love what they do. They yeah. you know they love what I do. I think it's one part of the Nigerian music industry that's actually doing very well. It has actually grown. Mm. The production, yeah. the production side produce, of things. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can tell that. I mean, music is definitely different. It's sounding better. Mm -hmm. You know, the beats are more interesting the beats are popping yeah, I know like crazy. I listen to stuff on the radio <laughs> these days sometimes maybe on my way to work and I'm like oh wow <laughs> who did this one why didn't I SARS, do that SARS beats yeah I know that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> especially that's SARS boy SARS, yeah, SARS, yeah. SARS, SARS is, is amazing SARS beats is something yeah. these guys are like you know they're, they're hot they're hot, hot. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask I want to be a little personal mm -hmm. yeah how, how was fatherhood I mean um, your father now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Did anything change <laughs> about you with that? Um, okay, so this is the first time I'm actually going to tell this story like this, and I hope I don't get into trouble. <laughs> it, when, when my son was born and I picked him up for the first time, um, now, you know, people see, you know, when you carry your child, He's you know, you still feel love, there's that connection. You know, when I picked him up, the first thing I thought was, ah, poor boy. <laughs> He's so helpless, you know. I, I really felt for him, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, just coming into this world, you know, with all the, you know, what I was waiting for him. Yeah. I, I just like very soon you start paying bills. Mm. You know, somebody might break your heart. You How know, is that the first you thing you're thinking? He's already like seen the first <laughs> like twenty years of his life, you know, and then and then. So I, I, you know, I, I, I grew to love my son, but you see, the day. Um, I don't know if this this is you know allowed in this piece, but the day he the day he was circumcised, a, a Jewish guy came to the house, you know, doctor, you know, and you know, and he got a certificate, and I had to be there mm -hmm. and witness um, wow. that that yeah, experience yeah. and that ceremony, and I promise you, when it happened, something instantly happened in me, and I realized that if I could, and I hope I don't have to, I would kill for him. Mm. Like, it was it was it was deep, like. I wanted to protect him. I wanted to, I just wanted to be more for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, they had given him all the LA, all the local anesthetics and all that, but yeah. I just, you know, I was just like, oh my God. He still has to feel something. Anyone who has to bring this kind of pain or harm to this guy will have me to contend with. Aww. Ever know? again. Yes, ever again. And, you know, ever since then, I think I've, some, something just happened and I, I, I love him more each day. I yeah. love him more each day. Like, oh my gosh! It's, so I've learned a deeper level I, of love. Level of love. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then you know, I've there's there's also a sense of responsibility that comes with you know being a father. You know the things you say. You know how you say the things you say. You know how you want to grit your teeth and do certain things at certain times, but you realize that you're passing that on to someone who's checking you out yeah. and you know taking your mannerisms, your speech, yeah. your everything. So. It's made me more cautious. It's made me more conscious. Mm -hmm. How old is he now? 
he's four. Mm. He's four now. Okay. He's, he's well, quite the man. <laughs> Cobams, Big man. Cobams has, you know, my ovaries jumping. Thank you. Um, so we're going to go, a lot. We're gonna go on a quick break <laughs> before I start stealing babies. <laughs> we'll see you guys in just a moment on the spot. Welcome back. You are still watching The Spot as we celebrate Ebony Life TV turning three. Um, hopefully you're joining in on the conversation because we've been joined by the lovely Kobam Asukuo. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've been having a good time so far. Justin, just, you know, chilling and whatnot. But I wanted to ask, um, you know, who you would like to work with that you already that you haven't already. You mean like a, a, a live or dead? Okay, so uh, some Nigerian artists, and then who you'd like to work with internationally? Like, who's your peak? Like? Okay, let's see. So, which Nigerian artist would I like to work with? Um, wow, uh, Kiss Daniel, maybe. Oh, okay. Techno, yeah, I would love mm, to work with Daniel. Yes. Yeah, Techno is on top. Techno's, yeah, uh, let He's me a see. Cool guy. Um, who else I like to work with? Uh, oh my gosh! Thanks, hey, Bukan, What's in this thing? Um, it's not spiked. That's all you need to know. It's, <laughs> it's just orange juice <laughs> and okay. some soda. And and things, like. Okay. <laughs> and things, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why? Why celebrating? Um, mm -hmm. Let me see. So who? Who else do I like to work with from the Nigeria? Mm. Um, no ladies, though. You haven't mentioned any ladies now. You've mentioned techno and... Don't he's probably black. worked with... Well, black ladies, black that's black because I <laughs> either, I've either worked with or, you know, I'm presently working with ah. or we're sort of negotiating work. So, I mean, I've, okay. you know, I've worked with from Amami mm -hmm. to Waje to Shay Shea to, you know, the Asha. T1 I have been talking for a hot oh, minute about working. Oh, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, she's you know, talented like that. Yeah. So. How about Simi? Simi, actually, you know what's funny? I, I, I produced Simi when she was 15. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, God, I just spilled some of my drink. Anyway, okay. I, I produced Simi when she was 15. Um, I've made music for her for some time now. Yeah. Before she blew. Mm -hmm. So, well, now that she has blown, it would be great to get back into the studio. Oh, yes, I definitely want to work with Adekunle Gold. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's really good. And we have talked it, about it, so. Oh, awesome. That's Internationally, coming. who are you looking at? Internationally. Here, wow. let me help you get them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're cool. very kind. I yeah, am, you know, I am, I am. You know who I'd like to see you work with? <laughs> Tell me. I want to see you do like an Igbo song. Uh, You'd like, be surprised. Are you doing uh, it already? <laughs> <laughs> with like flavor, like something oh. off. Okay. Oh, okay, so Flavor, I, ha I have a story um, about me and my stories. <laughs> <laughs> We're here for those. So, so Flavor came to me um, for us to work on this song, Godly Bay. <gasps> and oh. we, we sat down and we started working. So there are two versions of the song. There's one version that has like, you know, full instrumentation and all that. Yes. And the other version that has um, piano. Yeah. So he came and, you know, we sat down in my living room. We were just hanging out and playing the piano. He sang the song to me. I fell in love with it. And I played the piano. And it was really nice, and he recorded it on his phone. So he called me, because he wanted us to work on the song. But I had to travel. And he called and called and called. And you know, to this day, I think about this, and I'm like, I don't have many regrets in my life. I'm like, ah, maybe I should have, you yeah. know. But then he, you know, he called you know, a friend and brother, brother of mine, Mastercraft, and said to him, so in addition to the version you've created, I also want you to create this other version, you know, which is just piano. And he gave Mastercraft a recording. Okay. And Mastercraft reached out and was like, Luko, <laughs> me, I'm just going to dub your piano. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I like the honesty. I said, no, no, no. He's, but he's, he's honest like that. He's, he's, he's cool like that. And, mm. I, you know, I like that, you know, as producers, you know, we can relate, you know, and not, you know, there's, there's no sense of fear. Yeah. Mm. You know, and then he went, you know, and he, he did it. And it came out, and I heard it, and yeah. I liked it. I think that's the video version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the video version. Yeah, that's the video version, you know. So um, it's it's my it's my indirect claim to working with Flavor. <laughs> <laughs> you know that okay. I pretty much scored the piano for Goli Bay. Okay. Um, yeah, but I mean he's Flavor's good people, and you know we have also talked. I've talked about working with, you know, like a ton of Nigerian musicians. Yeah. You know. But let me also tell you the thing that happens with musicians. So you meet at an event, 
We should do something. Okay, let's do something. Okay, I'll no call problem. you tomorrow. So I'll, I'll call you. you. I'll call you. I yes, know call, nobody call exchange you. numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have so, my people call your people. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah, so let's that, talk, man. Let's talk. Happen. And then you just leave. That's so funny. <laughs> Go yeah, back but to internationally, I don't. Oh my goodness. I think I think more of producers. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to be in the studio with Timberland. Oh, yes. that would be so cool. I, I would love to be in the studio with Dre. Dr. Okay. Dre is. Mm. I'd love to be in the studio with Dark Child. Oh, I love oh. Dark Child. Like, you know, my mentors, like people who, you know, I, I grew up just listening to their stuff and loving, loving, loving their yeah. stuff. Yeah. I would love to collaborate with Quincy Jones. Mm. Oh, he's the OG. Oh, he is. He is the he OG. Is. He's Best pretty believe. awesome. So, yeah. I feel like mm. a Kobam's Timberland jam is actually just playing in my head. With a little bit of DJ Khaled, I'm just wow. saying. Stop it. I feel like that would be... No, 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 no. Don't, don't, you, don't you think that would be tight? <laughs> You're great. Don't you, don't you think that would be tight, though? Just a little bit of... <laughs> You're awesome. We don't get him to come and yell his name. Now. You know, yeah. It's DJ, DJ Khaled. <laughs> Okay, major. guys, we're going to go. The major key right now. <laughs> we're having a good time. We're going to go on a little break. When we come back, there's going to be a little bit more music in the house. You Ooh. want to stick around this time. I promise. Stay with us. Hi, guys. This is Bad Girl ZZ in the house. <laughs> Coming to you live from the spot in Lagos, Nigeria. You're shameless. And today I'm going to be singing one of my popular songs, Work, Work, and More Work. <laughs> Let's do it. That is not, there's no song called Work, Work, and More Work. <laughs> That's why she's bad girl ZZ, and not bad girl Rizzi. <laughs> All right, forgive it's me. It's karaoke time. Mother and father. Oh. Turn it up, DJ. Uh -uh. No, no. <laughs> you better follow your lyrics. Oh my gosh, I'm already We're scared. All afraid right now. Work, 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 work. See me at the work, 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 work. Do 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 do. Also put in some work, 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 work. Where are you, Lenny? Sorry, Lenny, you're throwing me off. I'm sorry. Drive me, I deserve him. Yes. No time to have you lurking. Yes. Him, I got hot and You know I dealt with him the nicest. Nobody touch me in a righteous place. Touch me in a crisis. No other your dreams and iterations. My heart and my keys and my patience. You took my heart off my sleeve of decoration. You must have given me for foundation. Okay, yes. All that I want is you to see something that I never had. Something that you never see. Something that you never be. You better wake up and act like nothing's wrong. Just yes, get me up, work, 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 yeah, work, 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 Hope that you get to, yeah. I hope that you see this through. I hope that you your stuff right now. Thank, right. You. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. I had, I had an awesome time. How yes. Zainab lost the record leader? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was really, I, I need a break. Please take my mic. <laughs> oh, you're quite the diva. Wow. <laughs> Bad girl ZZ. Bad girl ZZ. How do you feel? I feel great. I feel fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very fulfilled. Really? Oh my God. And out of breath. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Mommy, then, what do you do? <clears throat> We're going to find out. I hope I do. Do you need any backup? I hope I can backup. actually remember. Can I dance behind you? Ooh. Oh.
that at some point at some yeah. point yeah <laughs> um, but, um, you had all the runs team. and stuff going <laughs> mm-hmm. nice yes. might sign you a deal what why not <laughs> i'm ready i <laughs> with, am ready with production now just yeah. listen to these two songs they're so different mm. Mm. but they're both smash hits yeah right mm. how do you know when you're doing a song like this i mean <laughs> It ends Who up knew? being like a smash hit. And yeah. this sorry is such an amazing song. Do you know when you're doing it? Well, I, I, th- I think you know as a producer. I, I don't know. Well, I think, you know, whoever produced work is, is definitely genius on another level because I don't know how you know that a song like Work would be a smash yeah. hit. And that's just my opinion. It's and just straight it's not, um, it's not shade. It's just, you know, mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah. You know, now, with, with the, the latter song, I mean, it's just it's sweet. Like, as, as you're making it, you can hear it on the radio. Mm-hmm. You can hear it in clubs. Like, you know, you, you hear it already in your mind. Like, you hear where it's going to play and you hear, like, people's reaction. Yeah. To it. Yeah. So, you know. You know when you're making it. Do you know song. with the beats or with the writing? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. More with the beats. More with how the music makes you feel. First, because, before yeah, the because, words. Yeah, because some people aren't always settling down to listen to the words. You know what I mean? We're, yeah. we're, we're moving. People are doing stuff when music hits them. You know what I mean? They're in their cars. They're in their offices. Right. Wherever, yeah. yeah. You know, and then you know the, lyric, the, the the sound hits you, and then you now pay attention to the lyrics. And then, of course, it then applies to something that might have happened in your life. Yes, so it so. You know, takes on more meaning. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. gets deeper from it there. It then gets deeper from yeah. there. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for the words of wisdom. We're going to take another break now, and we'll come back. The maestro himself will show this one how music is done. Yes, mm-hmm. you will. I don't know about that. Ready. <laughs> We're ready.
have a world of ordinary people, extraordinary things will happen to me and you. Ordinary Abraham, he was just a man. He'd kill his son for price of a lamb. Let us consider ordinary Job, who lost it all, but in God had his own. Ordinary David, a little shepherd boy, brought down Goliath with a stone and a toy. Sweet little Jesus, ordinary child, his first son, humble and mild. If anybody told you he'd be Messiah, probably would laugh it off, I know. So let us have a world of ordinary people living life the way God wants us. No ordinary children going off to war. Because no single leader is worth dying for. No ordinary mother will cry herself to sleep. Because no ordinary father will come home after three. A.M. that is. <laughs> <laughs> So let us have a world of ordinary people Living life the way God wants us to If we have a world of ordinary people Extraordinary things Oh, let us have a world Extraordinary things will happen to me and you. Thank you, choir. Thank you, choir. Woo! <laughs> what? Yes! Love oh, it. That was amazing. That was, that was so, so amazing. Thank you. Don't make a grown man cry. Thank you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is quite a befitting way to yes. celebrate. Um, as, as turning three. three. Yes. So, yes. Yes, yes. Wonderful birthday. Thank you very much for Thank that. Thank you so Cobams. much, Cobams. Thank you. So, Thank time you for us to cut the cake? Yes, it is. And sing the birthday song. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to sing a special happy birthday song. Okay. Ooh, and then I'll, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll bring you guys in to sing with me. Okay. You know your cue when you come to me. All right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Happy birthday to
say it's high. Thank you very much, Kobams, for being here today. Thank you very much, Namide. Thank you very much, Zainab. It's been an amazing edition of The Spot, celebrating three years of Ebony Life TV. Here's the three more years. 30 more years, 300 more years, 3,000 more years. Hi, <laughs> man. Possible. Amen. We'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.